Alright, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. It is Sunday here in Australia. I think it's still Saturday in Americas. And it's still, uh, for my Sri Lankan fans, it's actually the morning. So I'm gonna look into Bitcoin today. I've been talking about Bitcoin, you know, since forever. And we've gone through some ups and downs. And of course, suddenly we're seeing the last week was actually good for Bitcoin. So if you traded that off, kudos to you but like in the scope of things uh what's the what's gonna be the worst case scenario and the best case scenario in my point of view i'm gonna give it to you uh if you're new to the channel uh welcome my name is hima i talk about my financial journey um hit the subscribe button and the like button um and put a comment below of what you think about what i'm talking if you're not so new to the channel Welcome back. Uh, so let's begin. But as you know, like I told you, last week was good for all the uh, technology sectors in, you know, tech stocks and of course um, crypto and otherwise. Um, so I'm looking at Bitcoin. Let me pull up the uh, daily chart. I'm on, I'm on line charts. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I use, um, you know, both line and bar charts. So. So this is where we are at right now if you switch to daily task uh, charts. So with daily charts, like you get a overview of like a micro uh, economics as in like how a certain asset, uh, it could be anything, uh, behaves from in a micro perspective as in like in the small scale of things. Of course, the biggest picture is what you need to focus on. It doesn't matter whether you invest or trade, it's the biggest picture. So if you look at daily charts, which is how most of these people do, you can see that we are somehow consolidating. You know, we got, if I draw a trend line, we got lower lows. We, have, we don't have higher highs. We just also have this small channel of um, channel that Bitcoin is currently going through. As you can see, it's going parallelly, um, but it's going sideways. It's going like flat. It's not going up or down. It's just like flat. So usually when something like this happens on a daily chart, this means is that um, the bulls and bears are kind of fighting and it's like that is, uh, what do you call it, what's the word, uh, equilibrium. It means that things are like kind of balancing out. So this is what we are saying right now. We're going through this channel and we've been going through uh, this channel since January. Of course, uh, we have this up and the down up down up down and again we've touched this uh, trend line um now that's on the daily charts all right let me switch to um weekly chart it's the same thing as you can see uh, we are in this channel but if you switch to monthly chart and then let me change it into line charts as you can see the entire thing we had two double tops and then we crashed and then suddenly we are going up look at this picture and then look at this this is called the wall street cheat sheet i've talked about this in my previous videos if you guys are watching it so if you look at this and this all right do you, where are we at right now do you see a certain similarity so we have this euphoria stages. This is where we were at right now. And now I think if you look at me, this little, oops, I think I hit the camera. So this little leg up here, is kind of like this complacency um, period. I think this is where we are at right now. Like do this yourself. You can Google it. I'll put the link below. Have a look. And the other thing is, so this is like the worst case scenario. The reason why Bitcoin has been going up and it went down in January and February is because the tech stocks, as you can see, uh, saw a huge sell off uh, due to the Fed news. Like Fed's already increased interest rates, but this was the news that was on and it, we, had, we saw a huge sell off uh, from Wall Street. And every tech stock, pretty much uh, Tesla, Apple, Nvidia, Netflix, they started crashing. And of course, like I told you, I made a video back then and I told you guys that even though Bitcoin is not technically a tech stocks, it is a technology, but somehow Bitcoin also followed the same trend. And now we're seeing suddenly things are going up. And 
to me it feels like this is my opinion of course no financial advice uh, uh, these hedge funds are playing a massive game so you gotta be very careful I believe that from macro perspectives tech stocks will go down if you look at this um, QQQ is one of the things that I follow um, so as you can see it recently broke not recently it broke that 200 moving day average line and when that happens it's called a bear market and we're still on a bear market so you gotta be very careful don't be buying into things but of course Bitcoin is not a bad thing if you want to dollar cost average into Bitcoin go for it right now at $44,000 I think it's still cheap um, I personally haven't done dollar cost averaging and I've told you in my previous videos that that's not my strategy I'm waiting for Bitcoin to come down a bit the reason why I'm doing that is because I usually get into things when people don't talk about it that's when you find the cheapest most um, you know desirable things when everybody is talking about it of course it's gonna go in the wrong way when people are don't when people don't stop talking and people when people don't talk about things that's when i buy that's my strategy right so we gotta be very careful um and this has actually been truthful for hundreds of years so many people talk about it so keep an eye on this one and that's my worst case scenario of course the best case scenario is like i told you green for all day every day and twice on sunday so green would be actually bitcoin surpassing this previous all-time high which is like sixty thousand dollars wait i think yep yeah, about sixty nine thousand dollars if bitcoin goes about this then that's good but i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon of course in the long scheme of things five to ten years bitcoin will even go to a million dollars because of course the u.s printed so much money the dollar is losing its value uh the other thing is i want to talk to you guys about this uh volume this is called the volume um, average and as you can see if you see volume below this line that means that institutions aren't buying in that they're selling so we want volume above like here above this line uh to get our idea okay so we know that institutions are pouring their money in right now me personally i'm staying on the sidelines i haven't bought or haven't sold any of my stocks i'm just waiting for things to pan out um of course things won't happen like that and of course you know it will happen within six or seven months you will see you gotta be very careful in this for people who are trading um i would not be getting into uh, leveraging or i would not be doing things that i don't know and for investing, if you're long-term investor, if you're a value investor, what you need to look at is how the business is performing and how it's going to perform in the future. So that's a whole another thing. You don't really have to worry about stocks. But of course, if you see a business that's cheaper, um, go for it. Go and buy it. Me personally, I haven't seen anything that's cheaper lately. Um, everything seems to be expensive. So I'm kind of staying off of things saving up some money i need some money for my personal stuff so i'm not going to put in that money into the stock market you always put the money that you don't need the excess money into the stock market so be very careful uh, personally i think bitcoin in the long run like i've always uh advocated is going to a million dollars no doubt in that but these time periods be very careful uh do not leverage in and if you are my putting money in have stop losses I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, have a nice day.